Oscar nominations were announced early this morning. John Cho and Issa Rae did the honors. And our film critic, Richard Roper, is joining us to recap and talk surprises and snubs. Welcome, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, guys. All right, so let's get started. Right. Okay, we're going to start with Best Supporting Actress. This year's nominees are Kathy Bates for Richard Jewell, Laura Dern for Marriage Story, Scarlett Johansson for Jojo Rabbit, Margot Robbie for Bombshell, and Florence Pugh for Little Women. So, Rich, one big name who was getting a lot of buzz is noticeably missing. Everybody thought Jennifer Lopez was going to get nominated for Hustlers. And, you know, if you're talking star power, her and A-Rod on the red carpet would have been a lot of fun. She's been at some of the other Academy right. Awards. I've talked to her there. I have to say, I think the Academy actually got this right. The five performances that were nominated were universally excellent. Jennifer Lopez was very good in Hustlers, best performance she's done probably since Out of Sight more than 20 years ago. I didn't necessarily feel it was Oscar quality, to be honest with you. Yeah. So I don't okay. really think that that was an oversight. the subject matter played a role in that decision? Uh, I don't, you know, Vail, it's possible, although a lot of times we've had portrayals of hookers and prostitutes yeah, and, you know, yeah. criminals and things like that. So that's usually Wait, not a major good. factor. I think it was maybe not considered a super serious film. Got mm. it. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you, Rich, on that. And I, I love J-Lo, too, but I watched it and I, th I thought, whoa, Oscar nomination? Yeah. yeah. All right. Seem to reach. Uh, next, uh, we have Best Supporting Actor. And if we can see that, that would be great. Best Supporting Actor, we got Brad Pitt from Once a Time in Hollywood. We got Tom Hanks for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Anthony Hopkins for The Two Popes. Al Pacino, The Irishman. <laughs> and Joe Pesci for The Irishman. Yeah, major, major Al star Pacino. power. Now, what you gonna do here with this category? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that is probably the most star-studded category I've seen in my career. I mean, mm. those five huge stars. The only one who hasn't won an Oscar, an acting Oscar in that group, is actually Brad Pitt who probably will win for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and it's a great performance. It, you know, you could almost argue it's one of those performances that's almost elite. Interesting that Tom Hanks is up for Best Supporting Actor as well, because he plays Mr. Rogers in It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, but if people have seen the movie, he really is a supporting character. It's more mostly about the journalist who's tasked with profiling him. Mm, very nice. And we saw Brad win at the Golden Globes, too, right? Gave a great speech, too. Yeah, he yeah. did. He did. I, Everybody I, loves Brad Pitt. I've yeah. never heard anybody say a negative word about him in terms of the way he acts in the set. He treats every like there is co-stars. Yeah, well, most people don't think he's good looking. That's, yeah. that's the thing. He's overcome <laughs> that. He's overcome yeah. the disfigurement and right. the hunchback and everything. Yeah. Right. Now, what about biggest snub? In, in that this, category. In, I think in this category, I mean, these five performances were pretty much locked in, mm. Ryan. I mean, you've got, you know, most of these actors are usually in lead roles, and this time they're, you know, in supporting roles. And, I mean, you look at those legends there. I, I hope they all show up. That would be an amazing that would be. shot. Mm -hmm. Like a Mount Rushmore shot right. on the red carpet. Right. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, mm. let's talk about actresses, mm -hmm. our best actress nominated this year. We have Cynthia Erivo for Harriet. Scarlett, yeah. oh, you like that? Scarlett Johansson mm. for Marriage Story. Saoirse Ronan for Little Women, Charlize Theron for Bombshell, and Renee Zellweger for Judy. Rich, you were really hoping you would see Aquafina and I. We just talked about this. You know, I was the category. model for the original emoji face plant. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. that. I was like, I, you know, I had a sneaking feeling they weren't going to find room for Aquafina. But that is just wrong. If you watch that movie, tell me that's not one of the five best performances, not only of the year, but of the entire last decade. She was absolutely brilliant. You know, the favorite here is Renee Zellweger for Judy, and to me, it's just an impersonation. It's not, I wouldn't even put it as a nominee. I would easily put Aquafina in there. I do like the fact that the other nominees are very strong, and it's good to see uh, Cynthia Erivo getting some love for Harriet, which right. didn't get the box office it deserved, really. It didn't, and it was a great movie. And this will help. This will help, because people will... will check this movie out. Okay, now. good. Let me ask you this. Scarlett Johansson received a rare double nomination. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yes, yeah, she got a nomination for Supporting Actress and Best Actress, first time since Kate Blanchett in 2007. That's a rare double trick. It's only happened a dozen times in the entire history of the Academy Awards. And by the way, you can't be nominated twice in the same category. Even if you gave two great lead performances, they instituted that rule years and years and years ago. But in this case, I think it's legitimate to say that it's a supporting performance in Jojo Rabbit and a lead performance in Marriage Story. She's won before, though, she right? She's not. She's, she's never won No, she's Oscar? not won an Academy Award. She's been in amazing projects going on, you know, Woody Allen films, going all the way back to Lost in Translation. 
and I think she's got a real solid shot this year. Okay. Yeah, all right, let's move on to Best yes. Actor. The nominees, uh, Antonio Banderas for Pain and Glory, Jonathan Price, The Two Popes, Joaquin Phoenix, of course, for Joker, Adam Driver for Marriage Story, and Leo for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Thoughts on this one, Rich? Yeah, a couple of snubs here. I thought Eddie Murphy for Dolomite is my name. Again, we talk about how comedy yeah. doesn't get I rewarded. And Adam yeah. Sandler, who's usually in comedies, for Uncut Gems. Those are maybe my two favorite performances of the year. They should have been nominated. Right. When they showed the actual clips of Dolomite at the end, he's oh my God. he had it down on. pat, right? Yeah. yeah. And then Sandler was Brilliant. really... Yeah. Brilliant work. Mm -hmm. All right. Finally, let's take a look at the Best Picture nominees. We have 1917, Ford versus Ferrari, oh, Joker. Do you like that one? Mm -hmm. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Irishman, Parasite, Jojo, Parasite Jojo Rabbit, Marriage Story, Little Women. Uh, so rich. Wow. That felt like a lot. It is what a lot, think? Val. Great point. Because a lot of years there have been seven or eight or nine nominations, which tells you how close this race is going to be. Because that means nine films got enough votes to get into the nominee. It's sort of like the Democratic primaries. You know, right. it's going to be a while <laughs> before we can winnow it down. But you can make a case for four or five of those films winning. Yeah. Best closest race for best picture we've had probably this century. Who would you give it to? Out of that group, I feel like 1917 is such a profound and great mm -hmm. film. There's not a bad film in that bunch, though. Mm. All, All right. right.